Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. This information you may view may need to be asked of yourself or others to assist in gathering and filing this paperwork for now and future use. This video will highlight some of the minimum required paperwork that you should hold on to and what you should throw away. This video is called Important Financial Paperwork, How to Store. This video will highlight additional information to your questions on what other information can be helpful and added to your need to know list on keeping financial records. Viewers, I hope you bought your notebook and pencil. When you decide that the table in the corner should be cleared of the access paperwork, then the clutter will be reduced and you will create a system for storing your financial documents. It is very important that your financial documents are secure in a safe location. Remember, when you decide to store your financial documents, they can be easily found. Your storage solution should make the paperwork easily accessible, protected from theft in a safe or locked drawer, protected from damage, weather, and environment, as well organized for easy access. Regardless of whether you have financial paperwork, documents, or they are stored electronically, I can recommend some options for storing these documents for the long term. If you are like many people that prefer to utilize filing cabinets and prefer paper stores, then the use of file folders is the best. Then organize them by year, subject, or any method of your choice. Another storage option is to use banker boxes. However, they can be easily damaged by water. Please do not sit the boxes directly on the floor. At least put them on a cabinet shelf. For the most important documents, the use of a filing cabinet will not be enough. The use of a secure location like a safe may be a good option if you do not want anyone reading the paperwork. At this step, you should at least look for fireproof and waterproof protection for your financial documents. The safe doesn't need to be expensive. It just needs to be secure and enables you to in case of fire to grab and go. You don't need anything fancy like what is in the movies. Safety deposit boxes are another method used to secure valuables, including important documents. I must say, not all bank branches offer safety deposit boxes. And now that is fewer since the pandemic because of all the closures. Remember, the banks are a good location. However, you are at their mercy when a problem arises when you have access to your safety deposit box. If the thought comes to mind, I hate having to deal with all this paper, then the digital storage may be a good fit for you. Many institutions and businesses now give you the option of getting your paperwork, utilizing their electronic services for storage and review at any time. This opportunity gives you the uh, option to utilize the electronic storage through email or online account access. Just to let you know, some institutions may charge a fee for paper statements because they have rarely given you electronic access and want you to utilize their people for information that is available on your account electronically. For other documents, you can utilize a scanner to scan them into your computer or take photos using your cell phone. Depending on the memory size of your computer, keeping those documents on a computer can assist with slowing down your system. However, there is another digital storage option that can be used, like an external hard drive, which is compact for storing electronic data. Another solution is a flash drive. Although they are easy to use, they are also easily misplaced or damaged. The digital route is another way to go. However, this comes with a need to create multiple backup copies in case one fails or gets damaged. The use of a digital backup eliminates the use of the table full of documents awaiting to be added to your to-do list. As we look at the options that are readily available, another option that can be used is the use of a cloud-based storage, which is great 
and enables you to find essential paperwork in minutes. For over a decade, there has been an explosion of cloud-based solutions, including the use of Dropboxes, Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, iCloud, Amazon Cloud Drive, Box, NextCloud, and iDrive. The use of cloud-based storage services eliminates unwanted documents just sitting on the table and is great for organizing and keeping your document secure. Most cloud-based services guarantee protection through encrypted networks. The cloud-based services allow access through your mobile devices, allowing for accessibility anywhere in the world. Please check with your cell phone provider to ensure services are where you live. As you sit there, make a determination on whether the original paperwork or cloud-based or digital storage is the best fit for you. It is okay to ask others if the original must be maintained for future use. This could be an item for a safe box or lock box. Please don't shred something you might need in a few years. Ask the question of a professional if a copy will do. The thought of looking over at that table that is no longer filled with the paperwork and your to-do list can be eliminated is a nice feeling. The pile might not be so high if you set a calendar date on how often you should sit down and separate, review, eliminate, and store these documents. However, the hard part is to remember is those documents containing your personal information that you don't want others to have access to or expose. These documents cannot just be put in the weekly trash collection. Identity theft can be easily accessed using the information on your old bills, statements, voided and canceled checks, and literature with your name from financial institutions. Here I am listing a few items that you could be present on your documents. You decide to throw away your full name, physical address, phone numbers, account numbers, driver's license numbers, usernames, passwords, membership information, medical records, and signature. Your current option is to buy a shredder to shred the documents to utilize a professional shredding service. Professional service charge a fee for the small price to keeping your personal information safe. Many stores offer shredding services. Please check on the internet for shredding services near you. Many states offer free paper shredding days to the residents at least twice a year. Check your state or city's website regarding the dates available. Everyone's financial life involves documentation, from the monthly bank statements to insurance documents and filing taxes. Learning what financial paperwork you should keep is important to eliminate future problems. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up or by leaving comments. Also, if you have the time, check out some of my other videos that may answer a few of your other questions that you may have. My name is Brenda Hayward. Thanks for your time.